I am here to do a silhouette project video um, from start to finish. So I'm going to take you through purchasing, not pur well, I already purchased it on the screen, but take you through being on the screen from the silhouette to actually putting the project together. So the first thing I did, I was on here this morning, um, and uh, I went to New Designs. Okay, and under new designs, if you scroll down, I saw, hold on, where'd it go? This, right here, that. And this is a Lori Whitlock design. She does awesome stuff. I mentioned her in my last video. You can usually go to her YouTube channel and she has a, um, a uh what I want to say to you a video obviously that's what I want to say video of most of the things she created now this wasn't there yet so it may be coming along and maybe not because it's really quite simple to put together so um, I'm going to take you through start to finish so here's the item project we're going to make and I've already purchased it it's already been downloaded it says I own it that's the great thing about the silhouette you usually I don't ever think you can purchase things twice because it'll let you know that you own it even if it comes up again somewhere on the in the collection of cuts that they have if you own it it'll say I own it so um, that's great or if you're shopping and it's in your cart and the picture doesn't go away so if you've already put it in your cart it'll say in your cart so that's that's one of the uh, great things about it as well so let's go through and begin so I'm going to go to my page, not my page, to my um, cuts, okay, and here it is on my screen, and I'm going to leave it at the dimensions that it is currently at, because it, it's the sticky note size, and it's actually quite um, a good size, so obviously for the sticky note, okay. Um, and let's go ahead and ungroup these because I'm going to cut them um, separately. Now what I would like to learn for all of my other silhouette users out there on YouTube is how to match up what I cut, what I place on my um, mat on the screen to actually what, where it cuts on my mat. If I cannot figure out. So if I put this right here, right? then it's going to cut right here on my mat. So then I can go and put something else right below it. You know, if I wanted to start on this line right here, how do I then um, do that? Because it didn't work out for me. But anyway, if anybody knows that, let me know. Or can shoot, send me to a video. Okay, so we're going to ungroup these. I'm going to cut the base first. I'm going to cut, I'm going to move this to the side. I'm just going to take this off the screen. Off the cutting mat and put it right there. Right? And I'm going to put this up here, like this. All right. And I'm actually going to take it up right there. And I'm going to actually cut two out to save some time, because I'll probably make two. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go up here to the flower, OK, um, the replicate window. And I'm going to duplicate below. So to go right below. There you go. There you go. And I'm just going to separate them just a bit off. Just a teeny tiny bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go and cut these. I'm going to cut these. And then let me show you one thing. So I'm going to come off. I'm going to go off of the computer in a minute and come back with them already cut and ready to put together. So here is the other pieces that are the decorative portion of the sticky note pad, right? And you can leave them like this if you want to cut them out um, as one color or one piece of paper on your on your silhouette, on your mat, or you can ungroup them, highlight them. I right click on my mouse, ungroup, and now you can move them and each one of these can be a coordinating pattern or a coordinating color. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually ungroup these and cut them in three different patterns so they can coordinate with 
what I've made. Okay. All right. So let's go back here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. And then I'll be back with everything cut out and ready to put the project together. So see you in a few. Hey everybody, it's Tanika and I'm back. And we are putting back we are putting together the um Lloyd Whitlock um sticky note holder. So here are the pieces that you will need. This is the base of the sticky note holder. And it came, um, it's already perforated with everything that you need, so there's no extra cutting. Um, and then these are the pieces that I chose. The paper that I am using is from My Mind's Eye, um, Lost and Found, Madison Avenue. So very pretty papers. love them okay so now let's go ahead and put this together so first let's just go ahead and, and make the fold like I said everything is already together and it even gives you the holes for the pen and I'll show you that when we finish just go ahead and perforate these a little bit just so you know where you're gonna put your paper and I did two of each because I'm gonna um put paper on the inside of it and on the outside of it. So let's start with the outside and these little oh and um it's gonna go together like this. Okay. And I'm actually going to put um a magnet magnet in there to hold it shut. Let me just go ahead, I'm gonna take my Nice. My my um one the scissors. I'm just gonna put a little hole right there so it goes to the other side so I know where to put my magnet. And so it's going right there. And so these are magnets from um basic gray. We need a plus and a minus. I'm gonna take this out, put this on before I um I wanna put it here. It goes down and I want it to close and it's not sticking to the paper. Alright, let's just put it here and let's move on. And once we um put the paper on top, it should be fine. So let's start with the back. And so we're gonna put it here and then in the center and then on the edge like that. Okay, so let's do that real quick. together like that and so then on the inside I also cut out um, these little things right here all of this came off of my cameo silhouette okay and it just says take And then I have another one. Let me pull my screen up and see if I can tell you what um, print font that was. Hold on. Let's see. It's called LD Moon Shabby. Um, and it's from, I want to say, it's from like that. I don't have any. Um, 
sticky notes. I'm going to purchase some because these are cute little gifts. Aren't these cute? These would be great to sell. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. Love it. So I made this one. And then I made this one. This one is from the paper. From that one is Glitz. Glitz, yours truly. And this is nice paper, but I did not realize that Glitz is so thin. It's, it's, it's a little, it's very, a little, just a teeny tad bit th thicker than regular printed paper. But it's, I, I, don't, even, I don't even want to say that because it's very thin. Because when I cut out, take notes, it, I, I, I should have changed the setting, but I didn't realize um, that it was that thin. So I did this one, and then my original one is this. And this paper is from Prima. I'm not even going to mess that name up, but that's what it is right there. That's pretty paper, too. Very, very pretty. So anyhow, anywho, anyway, that is my project. Share, I'm going to create something else and hopefully post a video because that is super cute. Now, like I said, one thing I didn't do that I'm not going to do for the video because it's going to take too long is I put um, the faux white stitching around with my um, gel pen. Okay? So, all the way through. As you can see, I'm going to go back and, and tape on that down better, but yeah. And you hear the snap. The snap is so cute. Probably you can hear the snap because the paper is so thin because you can't hear the snap on this one a little bit. But anyway, that's what that is. Thank you so much for... Oh, there's the back. See the back? Thank you so much for stopping by with my silhouette project for the day. And um, I'll check you in the next video. Bye.